Good morning. This is morning devotion. I'll read from First Corinthians chapter one, uh, which says here that verse eighteen: For the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise, and bring to nothing the understanding of the prudent. In this world, only one message uh, is powerful. and that that is like gospel the message of the cross uh it it is powerful because it it is it is written like it says that uh, god will destroy the wisdom of the wise and bring to nothing the understanding of the prudent but the uh, message of the cross is the power of god like uh, if you see the history this 2000 year of our history the church history it's all the uh, group of people uh, who are gathered is all saved by the message of cross and if it was not of uh, uh, because of uh, message of the cross then uh, we, we would have been not here uh, yes and the next message is like uh, resurrection which is in first corinthians chapter 15 uh if the resurrection was not there then uh, we all our faith is empty right uh, but then here in this uh, passage it says cross is foolishness to those who are perishing those who are not uh, accepting this uh, message for them is perishing like uh, this uh, picture if you remember it's in uh, noah chapter 6 where people were uh, thinking that this is a foolishness like uh, what noah is doing a full, uh, like crazy is like crazy is building a ark uh, like people in their own wisdom they were foolish to see they were foolish because uh, uh, they were thinking what noah is doing but noah had a wisdom noah had a message noah had uh, noah had uh, this design how to build uh no one knew how to build and then you saw in the story like end of the story like how ark was shut from uh, from outside and god shut that door and many were perishing uh during the time but the wisdom finally of god ruled the design which god gave it ruled uh finally what noah was uh, did he ruled uh is the those who believe uh, along with noah and family they ruled but rest everything was destroyed uh, that is of uh, foolishness the message of the cross is like uh, 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 is foolishness to those who are perishing those who are saying no this is foolish for them they think that message of cross is foolishness but they are foolish to say foolish to the message of cross because they are perishing perishing and and as as a believer like uh, those who are being saved is the power of god so we are uh, ruling in a sense we are above uh, this worldly wisdom and uh, worldly uh, called who uh, the prudent one because god will destroy everything in uh, time to come so uh, it's a great uh, honor like that we are part of a salvation uh, people group army uh, the church of god that uh, message of cross cross is, is the power of god like it can change anybody any moment like paul who was rebellious he was changed then you see uh, the thief on the cross uh, he was immediately transformed from uh, uh, that moment to the par- paradise when he, uh, for that time and uh, that's a great uh, news that we today uh, when we believe and when we pass away this uh, uh, old life this earth we are moment into into the presence of god which is in third heaven so that's the power of god that uh, to transform from darkness to uh, light that's the power of god that's what cross made it the message of cross made it and uh, message of cross uh, joined us together as a body of christ so that's the power of god uh, we have a hope that's the power of god so continue to run the race by faith uh, our faith is not empty because there is a resurrection and uh, 
ਇਜ਼ ਰੋਜ਼ ਅਗੇਨ ਸੋ ਹੈਵ ਅ ਬਿਊਟੀਫੁਲ ਡੇ